Hi everyone! So today I wanted to talk a little bit about YouTube, why I started my own channel, what I think are the benefits of having a YouTube channel, and what I earned and learned along the way that I didn't expect to happen. First of all, the main reason why I started was because I believed that YouTube is a different social media platform than the other popular ones. I think that these days it's quite impossible to be seen on Instagram and Facebook, but there is still hope for YouTube. Because it is its own search engine and people go there for information and for looking specific things, it is possible to be seen if you are creating useful content. So in that regard, I felt like I had to do something more than keep struggling with Facebook, Instagram and Twitter and hoping that something miraculous would happen. Another reason why I think this is possible within YouTube is because less people are doing it. Almost everyone has an Instagram account and a Facebook page that shows their art and communicates with people, but not everyone does YouTube. That means that we are less people competing for a place to be seen. It also makes it easier to stand out if you're putting in the effort and improving and creating nice videos. I don't think I'm at that stage yet, but I know that I have to practice and keep producing videos in order to maybe someday reach that point. I just have this general idea that if you do something that not everyone does and it is a little bit special, not extremely special, it is possible to stand out and do something more for yourself instead of doing the safe things that everyone picks to do. That being said, I knew and I still know that it is very likely that I will fail and this will lead nowhere, but I also think that creating videos is a nice skill to have anyway. Videos seem to be more popular than photos in other platforms as well, so it is like creating content for every platform when you are creating content for YouTube and while learning to film videos, edit videos and create nice content, you are earning a skill that will be useful anyway in the future, no matter what happens with YouTube specifically and what the future holds for this platform. What I've also learned along the way is that it is so much easier to share information and knowledge in long form video. It is hard to answer questions and explain everything when you all you have is a a description in a photo on Instagram or a short form video either on a post or in a story. When you do have the time to speak and explain yourself in front of the camera, you can communicate better, you can share what you know, experiences, information and be useful to other people. After all, I think that most people come to YouTube for information and knowledge to learn something new and not so much to really connect and find other people. That comes afterwards. Despite that though, I think that in the long run it turns out to be a much more deep and meaningful communication and relationship. Because of that, I think YouTube is a great stepping stone for other useful platforms for a full-time artist, such as Patreon or Ko-fi or um, Skillshare and also using affiliate links in the description. It is not easy to do such things in other platforms, while on YouTube you can start now and know that maybe in a couple of years or even longer you can use what you've learned and the audience you've built to take it one step further with your career. And even if that's not your end goal, to use these other platforms, putting a face in front of your art and letting people come in and get to know you even better is good for your art and your career anyway. People want to know who you are and connect with you on a deeper level instead of just posting photographs of your art and sharing just your artistic journey. It may be hard to put yourself out there, but in the end it is nice and it creates a deeper connection. It hasn't been easy for me either, it was very hard, especially at the beginning, and I still struggle to find myself and be completely, you know, um, spontaneous and cool in front of the camera. I'm not just yet, but I'm working on it. And that challenge is also another reason why I would suggest to try it. Stepping out of your comfort zone creates growth. You learn to, you get to learn more about yourself and move forward and learn more skills and maybe find confidence in all of that. I know my confidence grew a lot after creating these videos and watching myself in front of the camera just a little bit more and seeing that people like to watch my videos. I was not that confident when I started and I know I can be a lot more confident in the future if I keep doing that and keep believing that I can create content that is valuable for others. 
I don't think this could have happened with just the other platforms and staying at the back of the camera. It was hard, it felt impossible, but after all, it did become possible and it gave me so much more knowledge about myself and personal growth. Lastly, and just because I'm preparing my first collaborations at the moment, I will say that it is a very strong way to collaborate with other artists, get to know them and create better relationships with them. Within Facebook or Instagram, collaborations are very possible, but they are more superficial. Creating videos and communicating with other artists in such a different way, promoting each other and um, talking in front of the camera about them and their art is much more meaningful and it has so much more possibility to do different things and share different kinds of collaborations with you. I think that's all I had to say for now. I am really hoping to find more advantages to YouTube in the future, but for now, these eight reasons were the main ones that I could think of and share with you in the hopes of encouraging you to create your own channel, step out of your comfort zone and share yourself and your art with more people. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up before you go. If you like to see more videos like this, consider subscribing to my channel. I'm now uploading twice per week. Let me know in the comments below if you have a YouTube channel or if you don't have one, what's your biggest fear and what is holding you back? Maybe I could help you with that. I hope to see you on the next one. Until then, be safe, be happy and keep going for your dreams. Bye.